In V-Ray Next, we have incorporated the NVIDIA AI Denoiser, which uses artificial intelligence to estimate what the image should look like without the noise. To enable the NVIDIA AI Denoiser, let's open the V-Ray settings and in the Render Elements, find the Denoiser Render element. Select it and then open the Attribute Editor on the right. Under the Extra V-Ray Attributes dropdown, you will see the Engine options. Click the arrow to switch it over to the NVIDIA AI Denoiser. Keep in mind that the NVIDIA AI Denoiser works only with NVIDIA GPUs, regardless of whether you're rendering on CPU or GPU. Now, before we start the IPR, let's go back to the V-Ray settings and set the post effects rate to 100. This will ensure that the denoiser updates as quickly as possible. Now, let's start the IPR. You'll see that as we zoom in on our robot and pan or rotate around, the NVIDIA AI denoiser continuously kicks in and cleans the image very fast, removing all of the noise. I'll keep moving around a bit more here so you can observe how smooth and quick it is. Now, keep in mind that while the NVIDIA AI denoiser works really well for look development, when it comes to animations, recompositing the beauty pass, or general production rendering, we recommend switching to the V-Ray Default Denoiser since it's more accurate. In addition, the V-Ray Default Denoiser is consistent across render elements, making it a better choice for recompositing the beauty pass. And if you're denoising animations, we recommend using the V-Ray Default Denoiser and setting it to the Only Generate Render Elements mode. Then, you can use these with the standalone denoiser tool, which will remove flickering in animation.